Hi all, uh, welcome to the session. In this session, uh, we would be uh, looking at how to find out uh, the transaction code of the end user visible in SAP. Now, when I say end user transaction code, that means the people who actually work on SAP with the help of the transaction codes, uh, if they really want to uh, see the transaction codes in the SAP Easy menu, how would they be looking at uh, that setting uh, I would be showing. Now, let's see that uh, if we have to uh, check on the logistics part, uh, how to create a uh, purchase order. Now, I would like to go in materials management, purchasing, and then purchase order. Here it is create. So I go on create. So if you look at here, it says vendor supplying plant unknown. Now, if I'm clicking on this, it will take me uh, to the create purchase order screen. Now, the second option is that. Uh, one second, let me keep this as it is. Now, if you look at here, the transaction is ME21N. Now, this ME21N, what does this mean? This means that if I, this is called as the transaction screen or the navigation screen. Uh, so if I click ME21N here, it will straight away take me to that screen only. You can see here, this is bringing me to create purchase order screen. So how to find out uh, the list of the transaction codes in SAP? So here it is not visible, but I would like uh, to see the transaction codes uh, for each and every aspect or each and every node here. So what should I do? Now for that, what I will be doing is I'll go into extras, settings, and then here you can see here display technical names. I would go on display technical names, and then I would say, okay, now again i will go into logistics materials management purchasing purchase order now you can see here that all of my transaction codes are visible now me21n so that means uh, here uh, now it will be very easy for me so if i am creating purchasing purchase order uh, on a daily basis i can remember this transaction code and I can type in directly ME21N here and it will take me to that screen. So this is uh, similarly applicable to all the other transaction codes. So it depends on which screen you're working with. If I'm working with logistics, I would say if I'm creating purchase order, I would be going this way. If I am uh, creating some other thing, then in that case, I will be doing that way. Um, this is something like uh, uh, you need to see that what and all uh, area or what not transaction codes you are working with and you can actually uh, remember that or else I can also tell you in the upcoming video we would be talking about how to create a favorites folder and uh, how to make these transaction codes preset under that and uh, whatever the transaction codes you're using to uh, you know all of them you can actually uh, 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 what you can do is you can actually bind it under one favorite folder and you can use it as and when required uh, thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to the channel if in case you like this video um, and uh, uh, Please do visit our website uh, wherein you can see a little a little bit of more about different different core models of SAP uh, The way how to work with thank you so much for watching this